kind of wanted to show you guys thumbnail here by the way <laughs> and I just wanted to show you guys some of the detail work on trigger happy that I'm working on I'm working on some of the inlays or inner details right now in certain locations and you know just getting into certain areas with some heavy-duty black blackening effects and just giving an overall uh, dirty wash in some locations for starters there it's one of his arm guns his arm here I have over here one of the hands looks rather dirty and dingy it looks really really good for starters the kitty is panting um, some of the detail work on blowpipes for starters and I even went as far as to get his faceplate and stuff taken care of and his visor which looks really good just babbling on YouTube and just getting some of the what look like this will be like the joint for the knees and stuff so this way this will be the connection for the piece in the hip which is right here which is cool and with them being together that will look even better Oops, I'm way off the camera and this will look like um, a uh, gringy oily area give me one second and that'll actually look like a grunged out oiled section which is really really nice what do you need my help with? Outside. All right, well, give me about three to five minutes tops, I promise. And I'm just about there with satisfaction of how it's going to look greasy and grimy for the sections, but I am liking the pearlescent purple overlaid of the blue. I am keeping some areas true to form and color. I'm just giving you an idea of what I've already done for dirtying and greasing, griming some areas. for parts and color and they're pretty much identical and I'm just playing around with some ideas and as I'm seeing the light in the camera I'm actually using that as a reference point to just spiffy up some areas with permanent marker to just leave a thicker in some locations that look really really good Or smudgeify them to make them look battle worn and damaged in some locations but this is actually looking really really good and do I have the same angled yes and the way the the feet are gonna look to give them that sort of metal fake foot look with the little gold inside the little pieces right there that's gonna be one piece in the bottom of the foot which is gonna look great once I'm done that's gonna go that way that one and that one's gonna go that way and which leg Doo -ba -doo -boo. So that one is leaning that way, which is going to be that leg over there. This one and this one. No, that one's that one. This one's this one because the wing is on the outside, I think.
sorry, give me a sec here. I'm trying to line up pins and poppers. And that's going to go that way, so. That's kind of. That's actually going to look really, really well. Give you kind of a somewhat spoilish. Ow. Oops. Line it up. Of course, you know, there's that stupid stopper. There we go. And then if I put the pin in the right hole. And yes, I'm going to take a lighter to the areas. And lighters do come in handy, folks. I'm going to use a lighter to uh, basically get rid of any of the hairs. But that is pretty much, oops, off camera again, the way the leg is going to look when I'm done. But yeah, it is so far overall looking rather nice and coming together quite nicely. A couple of things I do want to show off before I have to run off and help the other half outside is I am working on coloring the, the actual thrusters in. I'm working on filling in certain gaps which are going to have dings and dents in it from the filler which if anybody wants to know I use the testers contour putty which works great and I filled in right about here and then I'm going to redo this with uh, more of a metallic I've got to touch up the crotch piece because somehow that got dinged up which does not look nice but I got to finish the shadowing effect of that and I have actually managed to 97% contour this puppy down nicely and it is almost perfect there's a few micro fractures that I can work with buff out and eventually push out which I want to leave some for scuffing and scratching but this is way better than it was I mean that is filled in with the contour putty and I'm going to eventually shape it change it a little bit finish off the colors there but yeah I've got some detail work already done but I want to leave some of that rough area so this way you can see scratches and dings from flight and stuff and I'll show you my configuration for landing and everything because I got rid of the landing gear the landing lines dots whatever you want to call those wheels things they had but outside of that it's pretty much it um so in a nutshell um in um, thank you to, um, testers, you know, because you guys rock, your stuff works great. I'm now third tube into their product, which works great. And if anybody has any suggestion on the reason why his legs are so loose, and he's the only one that's not pinned, it's either that or I got misassembled. Because he he has the little nubs, and his legs just you know clip on over the nubs, as to oppose his. Um, I painted in him, but there's a pin that runs through there right straight through. So he's pinned together. He is not. Only his le lower legs are pinned. But next project. End review. After this review is done, done. Once I put them all together and everything. It's review for um, Skull Cruncher. But until then, this has been Thermal's vlog about painting <laughs> and detailing. All right. Well, have yourself a great one. Later.